Well, today we are gonna talk about the PvP build that I am started to playing with recently. I wasn't able to play with it until now because I didn't have this off essence, but now I have it, so we can talk about the build. As always, let's start with the skills we have. We have Cascade with the Helm Essence. I think this is one of the best essences for Tempest in the game, but we will talk about that. Then we have Loving Strike, obviously. Well, you kinda have to have 4 out of 4 or at least some eternal gear for Flowing Strike to get the shields. This is kinda broken. I don't know if they are gonna nerf it, but it is available right now, so you should use it. Then we have Crosswinds, um, our main buff skill. We have skill to move around and to move our Zephyrs to the location, which is important. And for the uh, primary attack we are using Wind Edge with a main hand and an offhand essence. After that we have our set items. As usual we are using 4 pieces of Urge and 4 pieces of Gloom Guide. Both 4 piece. And for the essences uh, we have Dream and Drown. Cascade now empowers you and your Zephyr's attacks to release waves at enemies you hit, dealing damage to them and nearby enemies. So the important part here is, it says attacks. It doesn't say just primary attacks or anything like that. It counts all of your attacks. I am not 100% sure, but I think that kind of works with this too. I'm Like I said, I couldn't really see it on the dummy, but it looks like it works. Even if it doesn't, this is a really good essence and gives you really good extra damage. If you take a look at the um, skill, ex skill explanation, you can see the damage is 12k, which is perfect, and it happens every 0.5 seconds for 5 seconds. So that means a lot of hits. This essence is just perfect. And for the chest, we have Zephyr Guard. This is the stun essence for Flowing Strike. Safe Border is the immunity essence for Flowing Strike. These two are must-haves. This gets you out of a lot of control, plus gives you immunity for 1.5 seconds which can be increased with beneficial effects. Other than that, we have our Pants Essence called Holding Anchor. This is one of the new essences, which adds bleeds to crosswinds. We want bleeds because damage over time effects are always good. It brings you a lot of kills. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure if it works with that Cascade Essence, but it looks like it is. I'm not sure, like I said. And it, even if it doesn't work, this extra damage is really, really good. And for the other main hand, we have the Crosswind Essence. Crosswind's critical hits cause 4 blades of wind to shatter off the target. You know how this works. And for the other main hand, we have Fiend Fill. Uh, this is another buff for Wind Edge. Not buff, but extra damage. And for the first offhand, we have Reaper Jaws. This is the Bleed Essence for Wind Edge again. When you use 3 skills, your primary attacks release a gust and deals damage and cause enemies to bleed for for me it's 4.5 seconds sorry 4.5k for 4 seconds the main damage is good and plus it has a bleed which is once again perfect this is a really good essence to use on this setup and lastly of course we have hurricane hitch that's another crosswind essence and these are the essences and set items, the builds, I will add some gameplay, you will see. Build is pretty straightforward, you always play offensive, try to hit the enemy first before they hit you. So you can take the advantage a little bit. Uh, for the curse properties, I use Tortured. Maybe you can use Laced as well, or you can use 6-piece Tortured and 2-piece Laced, it's up to you. But I like Tortured. And for the Paragon, I am still using Brawler. I really like this setup. We have Finishing Touch, uh, Heavy Armor, rag uh, Ragged, Combat Expertise, and Defender of the Sanctuary. And um, just spend all of your points to get secondary bonuses. So that's basically the build. Other than that, uh, for the Reforge bonuses, you can use Vengeance, Mine is mixed right now. I have 4 piece Vengeance and 4 piece um, Wildfire. 
let me show you some of them so you can get the idea. I try to go for attack speed 100% and duration of beneficial effects increased. Plus, critical hit damage is important too. I mean, everything is important, but if you can get attack speed and beneficial effects, those are must haves. So they are looking like this, basically. And that kinda concludes everything about the build. Oh, we can talk about the gem setup too. I will just tell you the gems I use. I have Spiteful, uh, Rolling, Mother's Demand, Seeping, Battle Dope, Bloodsock Jade, of Starfire, and I'm using this as an auxiliary. I use Gloom Cask here. So you can use Viper's Bite instead of Seeping. If you don't want a defensive gem, you can use any other gem you want to use. I don't know if you can use Pain Class too, if you want to lower the cost of the gems. But other than that, Rolling is a must have, Blood Sock Jade is a must have for this build, Battle Dope, same thing, Starfire, I think it's a must have for PvP as well. And Gloom Cask is a kind of must have for this build again, because it is a primary attack build at the end. And that's all, if you have questions let me know in the comments so we can talk about it. And I hope you enjoy the build.